child, it's your boy, Trey. I see an icon, a showstopper But they not gonna believe me cause I'm just a Julia So I tell them I know wife and a daughter Alright, child, it's your boy, Trey, man Today we're back for Bible Talk episode 14, man You feel me, man? Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving Great start to December, man. We're back with Bible Talk. Today we're going to be in 2 Thessalonians 3. It's um, titled Pray for Us. And no, for real, y'all. Pray. Just pray as much as you can. Prayer is like really, really important. I'm excited to read this last one because um, 2 Thessalonians has been so good. I read the first two chapters and it's just, it, it's just been so good been telling us like appreciate Jesus for what he did and continue just continue to worship that's what I've got from the first two like it, it talks a lot about Jesus and just us as um humans and how we should be living right now still that's that's what's so good about the New Testament it's just it's telling us how we gotta live and how we're supposed to live just to stay closer to God you know um, so let me pray real quick. Thank you, Lord, so much for allowing me to be on episode 14 of Bible Talk. Super excited to read this last chapter of Second Thessalonians. Lord, I pray that this can help someone. This can help someone be closer to you, Lord. And I, I just pray that we understand what we're reading today. Amen. Amen. And amen. <clears throat> Like I said, it's titled Pray For Us, so we're going to hop right into it. First one, finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may run swiftly and be glorified just as it is with you and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked man. It says, for not all faith, not <clears throat> for not all have faith, but the Lord is faithful who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. And we have confidence in the Lord concerning you that both you, both that you will, you do and will do the things we command you. Now, may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patience of Christ. Warning against um, idleness. Verse six. But we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you withdraw from every brother who walks disorderly and not accordingly to the tradition what he received from us. For you yourselves know that how you ought to follow follow us, for we were not disorderly among you, nor did we eat anyone's bread free of charge, but worked with labor and toil and toil night and day, that we might not be a burden to any of you, not because we do not have authority, but to make ourselves an example of how you should follow us. Amazing right there. It's telling us of how we should follow the Lord, how we should live in order to follow the Lord. I love that. For even when we were with you, we commanded you this. If anyone will not work, neither shall we, neither shall he eat. For we hear that there are some who walk among you in disorderly manner in disorderly Manner not working at all, but our busybodies. I'm screaming, busybodies. <laughs> now, those who are such, we command and exhort through our Lord Jesus Christ that they work in quietness and eat their own bread. But as for you, brethren, do not grow weary in doing good. And if anyone does not obey our word in this apostle, note that person and do not company with him, that he may be ashamed. Yet do not count him as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. Amen. Bened, benediction. Yeah, benediction. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always in every way. The Lord be with you all. The salutation of Paul with my own hand, which, which is a sign in every apostle. So I write the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Wow, that's the end of that's the second Thessalonians, man. And we're gonna be going into first Timothy. Amen. 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 But I don't know, I got a little cold or allergies, something like that. Well, this is telling us, man, 
that they set Paul. Paul set the example for us of how we should live and how we should follow the Lord. Paul, Timothy, and um, Zavanis, I, I believe that's how you say it, Zavanis, they, they showed us how we should follow God. And if we're doing it any other way, or if we see anybody else doing it any, any other way, we shouldn't be around them. We shouldn't be with them. That doesn't mean we hate them. We just don't agree with what they're doing, you know? Like, that that's a lot of like that's a lot of stuff going around like that like people doing stuff you don't agree with like you don't gotta hate them you don't gotta like pray on that downfall you just can't be around them you know you just gotta continue to pray for them until they get on track you know but uh, you know all of us no one is perfect we all mess up we all do stuff wrong we just we just gotta continue to trust the word and live how Paul said live how Paul lived, like how he set the example for us to live, you know? Ultimately, we want to live how Jesus lived, but we, we all fall short. But um, let me know what y'all think about that down below. If you got anything to say that you think I missed out um, while reading this, comment it down below, man. You know, we're all here to just talk about the word and just, you know, vibe out. But I thought that was really good. I really like Thessalonians a lot, for one and two. I feel like it was a lot of a lot of nuggets in there for sure. But let me know what y'all think down below, man. Let me pray us out. Lord, thank you so much, Lord, for what you're doing in everyone's life, Lord. I just pray for, you know, world peace, Lord. I just pray for safety on this planet, Lord. I just pray that we all could just come together and just worship you, Lord, and just trust in you and just follow you, Lord. Lord, I also pray that just anyone who's struggling with a disease or sickness right now, whether that's cancer, um, a cold, the flu, COVID, anything. Lord, I just pray that you could just heal them right now, Lord. And I just pray just for healing, Lord, and just peace within them, Lord. I just pray for that right now, Lord. And I pray for everyone's families, my family, Lord, and friends, and all that, Lord, right now. I just pray that everyone can just love each other as you in this Bible, how Paul, in this Bible, set the example of loving someone, Lord. So I just pray that right now in your name. Amen.